Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7 chapter 4, Lines and Angles, exercise 4.1. Before going to the exercise, let us see today, check your progress. See the definition here, complementary angles. If the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, then the angles are called as complementary angles to each other. See example, 52 degrees, 38 degrees. Let us add these two, 52 plus 38 that equals to 90 degrees. So sum of these two angles is 90 degrees. So these two angles are called as complementary angles. See another example, 50 degrees and 40 degrees. Sum of these two angles is 90 degrees. So these two angles are called as complementary angles. Now let us see check your progress first sum. See now check your progress first sum. Find the complementary angles of 27 degrees, 43 degrees, K degrees and 2 degrees. Let us see the solution. Complementary angle of 27 is 90 degrees minus 27 degrees. That is 63 degrees. See now second one. Complementary angle of 43 degrees is 90 degrees minus 43 degrees. That is nothing but 47 degrees. See third one, complementary angle of K degrees is 90 minus K degrees. Why? Because here K is a variable. So we doesn't know the exact value. So the answer is 90 minus K. See the fourth one, complementary angle of 2 degrees is 90 degrees minus 2 degrees. That is 88 degrees. Therefore, complementary angle of 2 degrees is 88 degrees. Let us see now what are supplementary angles. If the sum of two angles is 180 degrees, then the angles are called as supplementary angles to each other. See example 52 degrees and 128 degrees. Sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. So these two angles can be called as supplementary angles. See another example 50 degrees and 130 degrees. Sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. Therefore these two angles are also called as supplementary angles. See now question number 2. Find the supplementary angles of 13 degrees, 97 degrees, 8 degrees and 46 degrees. Let us see the solution. See the first one supplementary angle of 13 degrees is 180 minus 13 degrees. That is 167 degrees. See now second one supplementary angle of 97 degrees is 180 minus 97 that is 83 degrees. See the third one. Supplementary angle of 8 degrees is 180 minus 8 degrees. See the fourth one. Supplementary angle of 46 degrees is 180 minus 46 degrees. That is 134 degrees. See now what are conjugate angles. If the sum of the two angles is 360 degrees, then the angles are called as conjugate angles to each other. See now example 132 degrees and 228 degrees. The sum of these two angles is 360 degrees. So these two angles are called as conjugate angles. See another example 150 degrees and 210 degrees. The sum of these two angles is also 360 degrees. Therefore these two angles are also called as Conjugate angles. See now question number 3. Find the conjugate angles of 74 degrees, 180 degrees, M degrees and 300 degrees. Let us see the solution. Conjugate angle of 74 degrees is 360 minus 74. That is 286 degrees. Therefore conjugate angle of 74 degrees is 286 degrees. See now second one, conjugate angle of 180 degrees is 360 minus 180 that is 180 degrees. Therefore conjugate angle of 180 degrees is 180 degrees. See now third one, conjugate angle of m degrees is 360 degrees minus m degrees. See now fourth one, conjugate angle of 300 degrees is 360 minus 300 that is 60 degrees. Therefore, the conjugate angle of 300 degrees is 60 degrees. See now exercise 4.1. First sum. Find which of the following pair of angles are complementary and which are supplementary. P 
We know complementary angles means some of the two angles must be 90 degrees. And we know supplementary angles means sum of two angles must be 180 degrees. See here first sum 90 degrees and 20 degrees. Sum of these two angles is 90 plus 20 that is 110 degrees which is not equal to 90 degrees or not equal to 180 degrees. So they are not complementary or supplementary angles. See now first question second sum 60 degrees and 30 degrees they have given. Let us see the solution. Sum of these two angles that is 60 plus 30 that is 90 degrees. So which is a complementary angle. Therefore the given two angles are complementary angles. See now first question third sum. One angle is 11 degrees and the other is 79 degrees. So sum of these two angles is 90 degrees. So these two are also complementary angles. So they are complementary angles. See now first question fourth sum. 125 degrees and 55 degrees they have given. Sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. So they are supplementary angles. See now fifth question. Here angle MOK is 50 degrees. Angle KOM is 130 degrees. Sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. So they are supplementary angles. See now first question sixth sum. They have given angle XYZ as 40 degrees. Angle DEF has 120 degrees. Let us see the solution here. Sum of those two angles that is 160 degrees which is not equal to 180 degrees or 90 degrees. So they are not supplementary angles or complementary angles. See now question number 2. If the ratio of two complementary angles is 2 is to 3 then find the two angles. Let us see the solution. Given ratio of two complementary angles is 2 is to 3. That equals to we have written them as 2x is to 3x. We know sum of two complementary angles is 90 degrees. So write down 2x plus 3x is equal to 90 degrees. 2x plus 3x that is 5x equal to 90 degrees. Here multiplied 5 on transposing it becomes divided by. So write down x equal to 90 degrees by 5. That implies x equal to 5 ones are 5, 5 18 are 90. So x value is 18 degrees. Then the angles are 2x and 3x that is 2 into 18, 3 into 18. 2 18 are 36 degrees, 3 18 are 54 degrees. Therefore the two angles are 36 and 54 degrees. See now question number 3. In the figure angle A and angle Q are complementary angles. Find the value of X. Let us see the solution. Given angle A is equal to 9X, angle Q equal to 36 degrees and angle A and angle Q are complementary angles. So angle A plus angle Q equals to 90 degrees. We have written angle A is 9X plus angle Q 36 degrees. That equals to 90. Here plus 36 on transposing it becomes minus 36. So write on 9x equal to 90 degrees minus 36 degrees. That implies 9x equal to 90 minus 36 is 54 degrees. Here multiplied by 9 on transposing it becomes divided by. So write on x equal to 54 by 9. 9 ones are 9, 9 six are 54. That implies x value is 6 degrees. Therefore, the value of x is 6 degrees. See now question number 4. If angle A and angle B are conjugate angles and angle A is equal to angle B, find the two angles. Let us see the solution. Given angle A and angle B are conjugate angles and angle A is equal to angle B which is equal to x degrees we have taken. So, angle A plus angle B equal to 360 degrees. That implies angle A and angle B are X. So, X plus X that equals to 360 degrees. X plus X that is 2X equal to 360 degrees. Here into 2 on transposing it becomes divided by. So, write down X degrees that equals to 360 degrees by 2. That implies X degrees equal to 2 table 2 ones are 2. 2 table 180 times 360. So x value is 180 degrees. Therefore angle A equal to angle B that equals to x degrees that is 180 degrees. 
Therefore, the two angles are 180 degrees each. Today, we have seen chapter 4, lines and angles, exercise 4.1, 1 to 4 sums. In our next video, we shall see remaining sums of this exercise. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.